So we're here at Celuan at Mobile World Congress, and this is an iPhone, real iPhone with the infrared keyboard. What do you call this? This is called a Prodigy. The Prodigy. The Prodigy. And so this is a iPhone case. Right. So this is an iPhone case. Your yeah. iPhone slides right in here like this. Close the cap on top. Yeah. Now you have a built-in kickstand with an extended battery. So it'll extend the life of your battery for about you know, double it. Yeah. And with this kickback stand, you can use it as a viewing pleasure or utilize the projection keyboard just like this. So right here, it's uh, like a, the full features of this? Yes. Plus, we have plans to um, add a swipe technology into this product as well. So you're working with swipe? You working with Swipe or is it uh, the, the swipe, swipe keyboard company? Will be will be yeah. W something like that in that nature. Instead of, instead of physically uh, typing one by one, you can actually yeah. like so, so. I believe you can do this right now. Uh, let's see. V. So let's type uh, Sherbob, right? C H A R B. B. Yeah. B A X. What's that? X. All right. So, what is the specs of the system? How fast is the refresh rate? And uh, what is the resolution of this uh, keyboard? How does it, how does that work? It's, 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 it, it doesn't go by resolution, but rather uh, frames per second. So, this camera is running at 30 frames per second. 30 frames per second, the camera, which is where? Which is the middle module here. That's a camera, just a normal camera, or is it a very no, special one? It's a camera with a special filter, so it only sees uh, infrared lights. So, it's like, a, what kind of resolution might it be? So, for example, optical mouse would be a high resolution product, yeah. but because we use a different technology, it's, so if you want to put a number yeah. on it, it's VGA, 640, 680 by 480? Yeah. 640 by 480. Yeah. Right, but the, the, the real spec is based on the camera spec, which is um, 30 frames per second. All right. So basically, it sees where the, the laser is. Right, so on the bottom here, you have an infrared window. Yeah. It blankets the surface at about two to three millimeters. So when you get very close to it, it recognizes it as a keystroke. What happens is when you press yeah. that key, for example, V, your, the, the reflection of the IR is captured by this camera and knows exactly the position of your finger. That's so cool. So how many do you sell of these so far? So far the Magic Cube, since we started mass production in July. Which is this one? Right. We yeah. have shipped over 34,000 units um, into the end user's hands. And right now we have over 15,000 units in back quarter. But 34,000, that's not like like Samsung numbers. It's not huge. No. Right now we're just testing the market. For example, in Europe, uh, European markets, um, we are testing at smaller markets. For example, the Netherlands, the Poland, Estonia, and you know a little bit in UK and Italy. And the response has been great. So our approach in the European market is to create a lot of visibility in smaller markets um, around the major markets. So when it's time to launch, yeah. uh, we have some leverage in those markets. So it's your technology? Yes, it is our patented technology. Nobody else does this? Nobody else can do it. Not similar things? No. No? Not possible. So, so are you going to consider working with companies, let's say something like somebody like them, that make tablets and just be, be embed it inside the tablet? Absolutely. Are you working with that? Yeah, retail business is just one of the three sectors. We have the retail, we have the, the vertical market, as well as the embedded solution. So we have been developing this product for about eight years now. Uh, we have gotten the form factor down to a very small size. Within the next year or two, we aim to get it down to about three millimeters, so it can you can uh, it can eventually be integrated into mobile devices or any electronic devices that requires an input device. So, in two or three years, every phone, every tablet will have your technology. I hope so. You hope so? What? Why would people say no? Too expensive? Uh, right now, we don't have that problem. Um, our target market and the strategy is to go high-end, premium pricing at a lower volume. But at the same time, we don't have a problem with the volumes at this point. Because productivity is very important, and all these devices are more like consumer devi consumption devices. But if you could, uh, if you could kind of like help making a faster keyboard, and it's built into the phones, built into the tablets, oh, and it's right there on the table, 
That's awesome. You also have an advantage because when you have an on-screen keyboard, the keyboard itself takes up half of the screen, so you're limited to only a fraction of the full display. When you're connected to our device, you actually have full access to the whole display. All right. So right now, back order and still how much cost? Um, in Europe, suggested retail price is around 159 euros. Um, starting in April, we plan to double our capacity so we can actually start launching in a um, few other markets and meet the demand. Lowering the price? What's that? The price will go down? Uh, that's... Depends? Think, yeah, it depends. Um, okay. Depending on the market, right. All right. Cool.